What do you see as the biggest weaknesses in your worldview, either within the context of learning or more broadly, and what is the most difficult aspect of it for you to live out in your daily life? I think the most difficult thing for me to grapple with about it as a worldview is it doesn't feel like one. Um, my position, if it, it, I'm, I'm here under the label of being an atheist, mm -hmm. which is a fair label, but it's not anything that's meaningful or significant to me as any sort of positive commitment in my life. It's instead what's left after something else that I had taken seriously very early on in my life is just simply gone. Mm. And so the weakness of my worldview is that it doesn't feel like one. The, as far as, oh, what was the second one, Al? It says, what is the hardest thing, most difficult aspect of it in your daily life, living? Well, this is why I forgot that second question. There's nothing difficult about it at all. Uh, in, in, in this sense, that um, it doesn't feel like a worldview. And I don't live a life standing in need of approval. So being in a position where it's clear that overwhelmingly the vast majority of the people around me personally and plenty of people around me culturally hold a different worldview is something I'm quite used to. And uh, even where I think that the difference of position is something that's incorrigible and can't ultimately be settled, or even where it appears to be a difference about just what the facts are, um, I'm still, I, I, I'm used to being in a situation of having the people around me reject my worldview. And I don't look outward to them for approval on it. Mm -hmm. That makes it easy. Thank you. Professor Sue, what do you find is the biggest weakness in your worldview? And what are the difficulties you have in living it out in your daily life? I would say the, the weak, the weak, um, sorry, what was the question? The biggest weakness the we biggest of your weakness. worldview. Yes, I, I would say the biggest weakness in, in my worldview is also the, the part that's hardest to live out, and that is um, that I say I follow uh, a God who is loving, but I'm not always loving. Um, I say that I believe in a God uh, who values me with fundamental dignity, but I um, am just as tempted by these idols of achievement, money, power, success. Um, and that's, um, that's troubling, but it's also part of the, part of the, uh, the Christian struggle. It's, is, is, it's not that you believe something and then your life is all neatly tied up in a bow. I mean, my, um, when my mother was dying, and that honestly was the biggest thing that helped me see that I, I'm not independent. I need, um, I need God. Uh, I don't understand some of the big questions about suffering. Um, why my mother is suffering? What is the, what is the meaning of this? Um, and so, wrestling with that is, is, is part of the Christian struggle. And so then becoming a Christian didn't suddenly make everything great, um, it, but it, it provided me with uh, uh, resources to understand why suffering is, is part of the human condition, uh, why Jesus offers hope. Um, and so becoming a Christian is not a one-time decision. It's a decision uh, every day to live under the cross, so to speak, to, to follow Jesus. But that's hard. Thank you.